Can I kill you? What the hell? What's up, everyone? This is Delix from today. We're playing Syndrome once more. Uh, last episode, we left off with finding out that the crew died. We were turning the power on, and we have to go around the ship. And we're supposed to go through the elevator to go get some kind of key card or item that we need to open a vent. So. <clears throat> Shit, I saw my 360 controller plugged. I could play with just my controller again, which would be interesting, honestly. Alright. Uh, I think we're supposed to go to deck 5, weren't we? Okay, there we go. We can't exercise deck 5, what the hell? Alright, we'll go to deck 4. So, anyway, um, I think I might have finally figured out my audio issues, finger crossed. Turns out, my curious, my curious ways had led me to going around exploring my sound folders and messing up a lot of stuff, and I finally went through and actually fixed all of it. And I actually got a new microphone piece. I don't have a fucking sock on anymore. Which is good, because now audio won't be like ass. But now it's going to be awkward, though. Alright. I'm really not liking the feel of this, guys. Okay. The hell is that? Okay, so... Dude, I need to figure out where the rig my flashlight is. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna check controllers. Never mind. Shut up! I don't give a shit. You might be in pain, but I gotta survive. What the hell is that down there? Oh, hell fuck no. I ain't gonna have it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have it. Get a running start. All right, never mind. Haha. Jukes. Oh, crap. Well, he's, he's, he's officially dead. So. Tanya, I changed the passwords two days ago. Nobody has access to that room but us, and I sure didn't take anything from the room. Meet me at the garden after your shift. I think I know what's going on. Sean, we need to revoke the passwords for the storage room. Just finished the inventory and found that several items are missing. Four knives, two axes, one fusion torch, and three flashlights. Uh, can, I get, can I get a handle on one of those flashlights, please? I, I, can, I, can use, I don't care about... I don't give no shit about a knife. I need a fly... What's this? Oh crap. I didn't read it. My freaking axe double. What the fuck is. Oh, hey, torso. That's kind of messed up. Hey. No, the core security. Security camera first, because let's see what's going So, is that a person or. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I do not, do not enjoy this whatsoever because I just saw that camera footage. And usually robots are metallic looking. That thing was fleshy, it has skin. It's a per- it was a person! I'm gonna have to run by it. Screw it. I'll be a man. Okay, I'm not manly in. Oh wait, it might be... Whatever. Uh. Uh. Okay, um... Don't lock this door down here.
Okay, it's not a door. So that's the elevator. I feel like I'm missing something that I really need. Hey! We got an air leak. Okay, gonna go back in here, double check, make sure I'm not missing anything, because obviously double backing is always a pain in the ass, and you guys have to watch it. Unless I edit it out. Unless something bad happens. Oh, shit! Oh, Lord, this is that room, wasn't it? That was the bloody room. Is there a weapon in for me? Is there anything in here for me? So it's a robot. It's on fire. I guess you could say he's short circuited. He got sparked up. He's lit. Oh. What the fuck? Really? Really? Is it, is, is it, can it be? It's a health kit. God dang it. I wanted a flashlight. Even though shit brought no health kit. So we got more dead bodies. I sent 89 messages to Dave and still no answer. Maybe he's not receiving them. I can feel him close like he's watching over me. I love him. If you feel that way, he might be dead. I'm sorry. I hate to break the news. I'm the bearer of bad news all the time, but he may just be dead. It's time to move on. Keep area clear. Oh, hell. What the hell is that? Hey, let's go exp Oh shit. Okay, it's a ventilation pipe thing. Like every other scenario, let's go exploring, right? What's this? What? I don't care. Ow! 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 Who could have done this? Through! It makes it. It makes no sound. Is this the age of technology where we can throw things and it doesn't make no sound? All right. What's in here? So this must be the storage room. That means we're missing a keypad somewhere. What? Who the hell are you? Bro. Please don't jump, please don't jump, please don't jump, please don't jump. Okay, thank you. Okay, um. I don't know what's going on with all these new security protocols. Everyone is going nuts here, and I have the feeling they're not telling us everything. We should just wake up everyone from cryo sleep. I receive a new access code for the storage room 56197. 56197. I can't for the thickest or the boss will kill. I don't have a pin on me right now. What the hell kind of code is that? Who the hell? Why can't it be just like four numbers? Why can't it be like 666 or some shit? I'm gonna put this shit in my phone. Because I have the worst memory. I'd get to the door and I'd forget it and then I'd just be like, oh, hey guys, we're boned. All right, 56, 19, 7. This is Trisha Takanawa. I became a man. No, I'm joking. All right. All right, let's do this. Access keypad. 56, 19. I swear to God, if there's a jump scare behind the door, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Access granted. Access granted. What? It seems the company accepts anyone inside their ships nowadays. I remember when the selection process wasn't so demanding that barely anyone got in. Now we have all sorts of punks in the crew. Even ex convict. Oh shit. That's not good, bro. I'm sorry. Find access in the medical bay. Deck 5. Find tool in storage room. 4. Alright, so the tool is in here actually. Go ahead, it's a light. Mm -hmm. 
Somehow I don't like this. Really dark. Really atmospheric. Doors are opening on their own. I wonder if I should have brought that bottle up here. So far, so good in the hood. Uh, what we got here? I have my suspicions about illegal drug dealings in the ship, but now I'm sure the technical crew is, uh, is all involved. I know it. I'm going to take this to Somers. Somers. Oh, and I... I can use this for defense. <laughs> okay. So I just got my first weapon. This is nice. I can survive. Fuck this shit. I'm out. I swear to God, if I have to do combat with this thing out here, I'm going to cry. I feel like I'm about to get fucking like destroyed or something. I got the sneeze. Can I peek? Can I peek? Yeah. I can peek. Oh. Hey. Oh crap, I can go right through you. Freedom. All right, let's go. Oh god. Oh god. Why am I trying to forget? Probably the effects of cryo sleep. Effects of cryo sleep, my ass, bro. You have like an alien parasite in your brain or some shit. I can't jump, so I wanted to look out that glass. When should we go forward? I mean, it's not a good question to usually ask yourself about going forward. Okay, so there's a robot down that way. Holy shit, how, how big is this freaking ship? All right, so um, I got to avoid touching the electrical wiring. The door is jammed, okay. That's logical sense. So I think on when we were trying to use the elevator, we were already on floor five, which that's where we couldn't access it, which makes perfect sense, honestly. Then I'm kind of daft. All right, let's go um, this way. So we got more robots. I'm gonna whack at them, see what happens. Can I repair you and use you? Dude, holy hell. I need to be searching dead bodies, I think. Why is everything gotta be so damn dark? Okay, this door is locked. Is there anything in here worthwhile? Cause I'm lost as hell. Alright, let's go. Gotta run. Gotta go fast. Cause I am literally freaking out a little bit right now. I don't know why. I don't know why this game is scaring me unlike Resident Evil. I think it's a fact because I know that I'm playing with a controller now and I'm limited. Like with, the, I think when I play mouse and keyboard, it's because I'm so used to playing Killing Floor, I can actually like 180 really quick and pop shit in the head. Versus with the controller, it's like stiffer if that makes sense. Let's avoid this rope again. Okay, I'm um, just gonna read this real quick if you don't mind. Walton used to make fun of me. He won't laugh anymore. Not with that. What? What'd you do to his tongue? Why? Why'd you rip that? Okay. Just took it there because it started like rendering a bit. I thought something bad was gonna happen. I was like, oh no. See, here's, here's the scary thing to think about, okay? We just went through that whole little area. The door was jammed. 
Yeah, we saw something walk into that area. Does that mean that thing can go in vents? If that mean, thing means it can go in vents, we're all in trouble. Okay. I need to be doing this. Which I haven't really been. Checking corpses and stuff for supplies. Alright, let's how do I check my inventory again? So my weaponry slots are up top. I am fine. Oh, hey, I'm just like, you know, taking food off dead bodies. I don't know how long it's been out here, but no, nah, it won't be affected at all. It won't be moldy or bloody at all. Oh, it's perfectly good still. Who would have thought? Who would have known? What'd you? You didn't have any. You did have something. Cool. So that's that body right there. Do you have anything onions? No? Okay, cool. I'll be on my way. This is to your mates, and I'm out. All right, so we're gonna go deck five now. Close the door. Conserve your ammo for the toughest of opponents. No, I was just not going to, you know, you gave me a melee weapon. I'm not efficient with melee weapons, so I was just gonna use all my bullets. Not haphazardly. Without a care in the world. And my controller just vibrated. Hey, I don't like the feel of things right now. Yeah, I want to say... Yeah. We'll save us down this yeah. way. So we're going to save her real quick. We will continue for a little bit longer. And then I'll probably just call it there. So. No, no. I'm going to save it in the next slot. In case something bad happens. What? Let me save, please. Don't do this to me. Cool. Right, let's go and continue for a bit longer. We're just gonna start running. So I think I am going the right way for me to do what I need to do. I really don't think I should be trying to run around this area like this, though. Usually full sprinting like this is usually bad luck. I want to say it was this room, wasn't it? A chemistry lab? Yeah. Alright, here we go. So, here we go. Had a crouch. Anything in here? No? Okay, cool. Just going, you know, look around at stuff that you left for me. My head is exploding. Every damn noise makes an echo inside my brain. I can't even think anymore. Even that hurts. Bro, you're infected. Where the frequencies inside your head are being messed up by the alien that you guys are carrying on the ship, apparently. Why did I even have to come in here to begin with? Oh, there we go. And that was a picture of Albert Einstein. Nice. Hey, Mr. Robot. It'd be really shitty of you to come alive and try to attack me. So I, I suggest you don't do that kind of stuff with me, you know? Oh, hey, it's another save point. This uh, third slot, it's always a charm. Cause, yeah. Anything in here? No. A dark room that could lead to a jump scare. No, okay. A cabinet, nothing, okay. 
Creepy ass voices? Okay. Why am I even putting myself through this, guys? Wait, was there anything over here? Wait, there we go in here. Oh, I didn't come in here yet. So, you two both died in the same room. Oh, crap. It's not... What's this? Oh, hey. I just got a pistol clip, and I don't have a pistol. Okay, so, we got a medical syringe. If I could get it. There's a foot or a leg and a hand. Hmm. That's a puzzle. No, I'm sorry. It's awful. Someone left some someone left some clues here. What do you have? I have like a hand and a foot. What does it mean? I don't know, but it means something. Can't open that. Come on. Come alive. We need I need you. There's something on the ship. I really want to meet the monster already, or get like an up close and personal like view of them. All right, so I searched your body. Detention center. There's a guy still in there. Kind of keepy. Uh, we got another key code thing. All right, let's go in here. Oh, hey, another medical syringe. Thank you guys. I need all these medicals. But I really like a pistol bar right now. I need a gun, please. Okay. Whatever. Medical. Email. Here, I'm worried about the crew. Every day I get more people coming in with headaches and unable to sleep. Men and women with no history of violence get into fights. Trouble focusing, I tell you. It started when the soldiers brought that thing aboard. I'm starting to fear for our own safety. Robert, I understand your concerns, but you have no reason to worry. This is a veteran and experienced crew. What they need is some R and R time. And we'll have it when we reach our destination. We're just carrying an extra piece of cargo, and the company has assured me that there will be a bonus for everyone for making this detour. Bro, see, that's that's when you ask your company, what the hell are you putting on my ship, and what the hell, what kind, what is it? If it's alien technology, alien life, put that in some other ship. I don't want that with me. Neil, I heard about what happened. Trust me, I would put someone there on guard duty if I had enough personnel. We we're already stre stretched thin, you know, how things are in the ship. I'll have someone check on you guys later today, okay? That's really the best I can do for now. Trey, one of our patients attacked Nurse Sarah today. The patient was homicidal and completely oblivious to his surroundings. Luckily, Sam from the warehouse was in the medical bay and he was able to help us control the situation. Barely. And Sam is a huge man. We need to have permanent security here. We can't go on like this. Okay, uh, logs. ID again. Subject ID again. J security chief. I is a decorated ex-soldier of the United Colony Colonies Army. As a veteran of the Cerebr Cerebral Campaign Agon or Agon was involved in some of the most intense battles during the Martian occupation. Des despite my continuous efforts, he refuses to talk about what happened there. There was one single time when he opened up and told me about the Jakara incident. He was leading a squad that shot down a troop transport during the liberation of the space city. When we reached the crash site, there was bodies burning everywhere, some still alive. Transport was carrying fresh recruits, kids according to Aegon. 94 men died on the crash, mostly consumed by the flames. Aegon was awarded the Star of Valor. It's easy to understand that he is very troubled. He is a very troubled man. He says he joined the Pioneer Fleet looking for peace. I recommend keeping him up for regular psychological checkups. Okay, um, more ID Morton. Dr. Morton is a brilliant technician with the latest. Oh no, with vast experience. Sorry, the V looks weird on robotics and AI. He's been with the company for 11 years now, always involved in the most advanced projects and missions. The requests were transferred to the Hy Hydral 
came after the incident aboard the Jupiter station. Details are not strangely scarce, but from what I heard, his team was testing highly aggressive AI, some project from the military. But something happened there and three people end up dead, supposedly killed by his droids. More is an introvert suspicious of everyone. Detect a slight case of paranoia, possibly drug use. I recommend keeping him off for regular psychology checks. ID Kyle. Okay. Kyle is a former fighter pilot of the Mars Defense Force. He joined the Pioneer Fleet after completing the mandatory time in the armed forces. In his own words, more coin, less trouble. Although Kyle is an adept pilot, he also manifests reckless and imprudent behavior, especially when he in the cockpit. And since there are also reports of gambling and fighting with other crew members. Recommend keep blah blah blah. blah. I, I want to keep everyone on check, please. Keep files, please. Okay. Alright, I want to get out of here. So, I didn't see any kind of passwords, which is no bueno. Alright, let's survey that room a bit. I don't see no kind of vent shaft to go into. Um, it's already 26 minutes since recording. Alright, we're gonna save it and I'm gonna cut it, so. I'm gonna run back out here real quick. And though I, I really do think I'm missing something huge. Wait, is there a door over here? Oh shit, there is. Alright, so much for cutting it here. Nothing in there? Come on, guys. What's this? Pick up food. A moldy ass sandwich. Nice. Alright, here we go. The access code for the medical bay changed again. It's now 11154. 3154. I hope this new code lasts more than. One 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 five four. Even though no, something bad is gonna probably happen. Maybe. Am I gonna get spooked? Can I be spooked? Will I be spooked? Nope, I don't think I'm gonna be spooked. Okay. So access. One 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 five four. Can I kill you? What the hell? What the hell is this thing, guys? Dude, you know what this reminds me of? If you ever seen the movie Virus, it's like the alien decided to rewrite life and started making machines and people combined. What has happened to you? Okay, um, it was all in my head. It got a bit better after I cut my nose and ears. But only got well after I took out my eye. I've even seen better now than I ever. What? Dude. Did you know the Nova Corps Medical Department was considered the most advanced by the Institute Commission? Alright. Pick up medical salt. Oh god. You know where this is going, right guys? I can't even right now. Alright, check you real quick. Chest pain, see your doctor. Obviously. So, um. Nothing in here. So much for cutting this video short. I do owe it to you guys to actually put out some good content finally. 
Because I really haven't been putting out videos at all lately. I had to talk with David and he agreed with everyone's losing their shit and things are not going to get better. There are several murders yesterday and no one is in jail. No one seems to care anymore. We're getting out of here in an escape pod. Okay. But did you escape though? That's the question. So if you didn't escape, then it was all fruitile. The pain. Um. Okay, you're dead. Nothing in here. Oh, here we go. Guys, another access card. Nice. Has was events triggered? Okay, so we just heard something, and I do not enjoy this whatsoever. So we got a medical saw. <laughs> Wasn't there like some corpses in here? I don't know. So we gotta restart the engine. Fuck it, we're gonna save it. Alright guys, I'm sorry, I'm cutting it here. So if you want to see what happens to me in the next video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and watch the next episode. This is Delic Storm. I'll see you all later. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm I'm about to go fight this thing, I think, so. Alright, later.